Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Essentials Discord. So what this does is it basically lets you see Minecraft chat inside Discord, and you can also message from Discord into Minecraft, as well as also keep track of all logs through the console. So first of all, Essentials and Essentials Discord are plugins, meaning that we will need to be running a version which does support plugins. So this can be paper, spigot or bucket. And if you're not sure if you currently have that selected, scroll down to server type and click on the jar and pre-install menu. Then from here, you can select paper, spigot or craft bucket. I'm going to pick paper and I recommend that you do as well, as it is the most optimised. So I'm going to select 1.18.1 latest and click save. If you have selected a new version, you want to go ahead and restart your server. Once we've done that, we now need to install the plugins. So in the description, there'll be a link to this website. And here we want to scroll down to Core and then download Essentials X, which is the main plugin. So click download. I'm just going to keep this in my downloads. And then you want to scroll down to Discord add-on. And as you can see, Essentials X Discord. And you also want to click download on that one. All right, so now both our downloads have completed. And now what we can do is we can go back to Pool Host, go to the file manager on the left, and then from here, go into the plugins folder, and then click upload, file, and then simply find the two files in your downloads. You can then click open and it will start uploading them. And there we go, they have now uploaded. So the first thing we want to do is generate the config files, meaning we will have to start the server. So click back on the left, and then restart the server. So we've gone into the console and as you can see it has said Essentials Discord an error occurred while logging into Discord which has caused the plugin to disable itself. Now that is because we haven't actually set it up yet. So then we need to go back to the file manager on Pebblehost. So once again from the main menu it's on the left click file manager, plugins and now we actually have our config folders. So click on the Essentials Discord folder which should then take you to the config YML file and then you can simply just click that. It will then bring up this. And don't worry, it's not complicated at all. So in order to actually complete this, we're going to quickly make a Discord bot. Now this is also extremely easy and requires no coding or anything like that at all. So in the description, there'll be a link to this website. Discord.com slash developers slash applications. And once you're here, we want to click new application. Then put a name in, so I've just put in Pebblehost. And click create. So now as you can see you can set a profile picture if you want one and also the name of the bot. So now we want to go to bot on the left where well, we have to create our bot. So we're going to click add bot and then click yes do it. So here we have everything that we need. So the first thing you want to do is disable the public bot setting. This means that it can't be invited to anyone else's server just to yours. And then you also want to scroll down and enable server members intent. So simply scroll across and enable it and then just click save changes. We can then scroll down to bot permissions and we're just going to give it administrator as that is very very simple. Next you want to scroll back up where you can find the token. Now make sure you don't reveal this to anyone else as they will be able to access the bot if you do give it to them. And if it does have administrator they could potentially destroy your discord server. So just click copy it won't show it to anyone. Then go back to your host file manager. And where it says token and then insert token here, we can select this and press Ctrl V to paste this in. Then once you've done that, you can click save at the top right. And now go back to Discord. So now we want to go to OAuth2 and then go to the URL generator. So on here we want to select bot and application.commands. And then we're going to give it administrator. And then from here scroll down to the generated URL and click copy. And then open a new tab and paste in the link. Alright, so here we go. It's now going to ask me to add it to my server. My server is called Pebblehost Essentials X Discord. Then I click continue. Authorize. Then select that I'm human. And there we go. And as you can see on my Discord, my bot has just joined the server. It is currently offline, but don't worry about that. We'll get it online in just a minute. So now, once we're on the Discord server, we want to create a new channel. And we'll just call this one Minecraft Chat. You don't have to name it this, just something that you want your Minecraft chat to go into. Then click Create Channel. And then we can also make a staff one. So we'll just make this one called Staff. And then finally, we'll make one called Console. So we now have the three channels that we need. But first, 
we need to go down to the settings down here. Then from here, you want to scroll down to advanced. And then where it says developer mode, you need to enable that. This will allow you to copy IDs. Then close out of that. And then go back to Pebblehost. Go in the config file once again. And then as you can see, the first thing is the ID of our server. So to get to this, go back to Discord. Right click on your server. And then simply click copy ID. We can then go back to the file manager and simply just paste this in. So now we have our ID there. We can scroll down to where it says channels. So primary channels will send join and leave messages, deaths and also anything in chat. And then a staff channel will send kicks and mutes. So a primary will just set as Minecraft chat. So once again, right click it and click copy ID. Go back, select these numbers and press control V to paste in our numbers. And then for the staff one, we're going to select our staff channel, right click it and click copy ID. Then go back once again, select our staff numbers and once again, paste on top of that. Then from here, we can scroll down. We can scroll down to console, where once again, we'll have to go back to Discord, select our console channel, right click it, click copy ID, go back and once again, simply just select the channel and then press control V to paste in our numbers. Then from here, we can scroll down and you can actually set which types of messages go in which channels. If, for example, you wanted it to say the server has started and stopped in staff, you can instead change this to staff. And the next thing we're going to change is show avatar. So this will mean when someone talks in game, actually in Discord, it will show their Minecraft skin as the profile picture. So I highly recommend you do change this from false to true, just like that. And then show name and show display name. So show name will be Minecraft username. So I'm also going to change this to true. And then show display name will be something like a nickname. So if I had a nickname with essentials, this would count as a display name. So I'll also just set this to true. And then from here, you can scroll down. There's not really anything that useful in there, but there is a few things that you might want to change. But from here, we can simply click save in the top right. So now we have all our config correctly set up. We can now click back on the left. And then we want to restart our server. So if we go to Discord here, when our server does start up, our bot will actually come online. Alright, so as you can see, the Pebble Host bot is now online. And in our console, we can actually see our real console. And in Minecraft chat, we can see that the server has started. So if you put a slash in, you can actually see the Pebble Host bot right here. There is a few commands which you can do. However, I'll show them in just a minute. So first of all, let's log on to the server. Alright, so as you can see, I've joined the server. And if you go back to Discord, you can actually see that it says Strange Stan, and then Strange Stan has joined, and this is my current Minecraft skin. And if someone else was to join, it would show theirs instead, and also their username. And then let's say I was to just type some random stuff in the chat. If we go back to Discord, we can see that it has actually showed up in the Minecraft chat. And then from here, if we also try to run a command, so let's say I was trying to do creative, which I don't actually have access to. If I press enter, as you can see, I don't have access. And in our console channel, we have Strange Stan issued server command game mode creative and then Strange Stan was denied access to command. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to give us op through discord. So I can do slash execute and then command. I'm going to put op strange stan. So make sure you don't put a slash there. And then once you've posted it, it says executing command. And as you see, it's actually made me a server operator. There is also something called allowed roles under the execute in the config. Now what this means is that you can select certain roles to be able to do the execute command. So by default, the owner of the server and any admins on the server will be able to do the execute command. However, just a normal person with normal roles won't be able to do any commands. So if you want to give someone access to do those, you'll have to give them either an admin role or make them a custom role, copy the ID and put it in the config. So if I go back on Minecraft, I can try running the same command again. And there we go. I now have op. So yeah, let's say you didn't have access to your computer at that specific day or that specific time and someone needed something. You could actually simply just do it through Discord. So another one we can do is slash list. We can then just press enter. And as you can see, we have one out of a maximum of 100 players online. And as you can see, it's just me online. And then the last command we can do is slash MSG or message. 
So this will send a message to a player and not actually the whole server. So we're going to send this to Strange Stan as obviously I'm the only one on the server right now. So once you've done that, you then want to click message. It will then bring up a message here and then we can just type whatever we want and then press enter. And as you can see, it says it's sent the command. If we go back to our Minecraft, as you can see, it says from my Discord account for we'll host tutorials to me and then obviously whatever text I typed. So it's pretty much a whisper. So yeah, that is actually a really, really cool feature. And I think it's a really actually useful plugin. But anyway, if this video has helped you out, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.